Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to the vlog. If you're new to the channel, a big warm welcome. My name is Tristan Mortlock. This is Captain's Vlog. Now directly behind me is the motor yacht Lizzie and I was captain on Lizzie for eight years. And in fact, we actually still own the boat. So we have AWOL and Lizzie. And currently my brother-in-law Jerome is the captain on board. It's a 2008 Lazara 75 LSX. It's a fantastic, fantastic charter boat. They've just installed a brand new Flexi Teak deck. And then my last year on Lizzie was 2016. We did the refit in 2016. So what I'm gonna do, they've just come in now to Port Canto here in Cannes. They're here for an event called MIPIM. And then once they're all tied up here in the, in the berth, I wanna give you guys a little tour around the boat. Uh, I lived on board that boat full time for seven years. I didn't have a, an apartment or a house, that's where I lived. And here she is, she's still looking great. She's 10 years old. They've been in the shipyard over the winter. They're back in the water now. And uh, Jerome, the captain, is currently waiting for the harbour master of Gimel Authority to go into the, into the berth because currently there's another boat docking. So once they finish docking, then the dock master will come and assist Lizzie to, to berth. So um, once they're all, they're all tied up, we're going to um, go and do a look around. You can see Jerome, and then you can see on the camera, he's now on the uh, docking station on the aft there, on the aft deck. There he is, thumbs up. And then, so the in very interesting thing about, about Lizzie is it has four engines. It's running on pod drive. They're called IPS 600, Volvo engines. There's no bow thruster. It's all controlled by the joysticks. The boat literally can be moving sideways, backwards, forwards, uh, aft. Any, any direction you want, the boat will, will go in. There is a limitation with that, with the wind conditions. Uh, but the benefit also with this system, it's got a very, very low fuel consumption for a vessel of its size. Uh, the, and because of the four engines, it actually has a smaller engine room. Therefore, you have more cabin space. So this actually sleeps eight guests in four cabins and they are, they're all en suite. So you have the master cabins, you have two the two side cabins which can be either set up as double or as singles and you have the forward vip cabin so looking forward to showing you guys and you can see jerome is teaching the deck hand um adrian his name is to dock the boat so he's allowing him now to practice which is what we try and do on board all the boats so the the new generation that are coming in are trying to be taught and learn how to maneuver or dock the boats in close quarters in port in these conditions the best time we teach them at the moment, given the value of the vessel, is when it's a nice calm day like today, there's no wind. So you take your time, you think about it. On windier days, you've got to be a bit quicker. And obviously, because they're quite big things, you've got to you know, calculate the element of risk as well. So I get to watch these guys come in. He's just practicing at the moment. Fantastic boat Lizzie was. Uh, we had a lot of great charters on this boat. A lot, a lot of great memories. Uh, I think uh, it's got a special place for all of us, uh, especially for Jim and I that we spent uh, the first six years together on board that, on board that boat. And uh, so now they're getting ready for an event here in Cannes. It's March, so it's got an event called MIPIM, which is a property event that they host every year. And uh, we attend this event every year. But obviously, for obvious reasons, we're not attending with uh, AWOL. We're still in the shipyard. And we're not getting launched till April. Um, so uh, what they're going to do there is use Lizzie, Lizzie here instead. So now you can see he's just practicing the maneuvering of the boat. He's not going to dock there. He's just testing, getting to know, getting a feeling for it. You can see, look at the brand new Flexi Teak deck. It looks absolutely fun. You're on camera. <laughs> so you can see on the off that they sorry so have you guys heard that so basically that's captain jerome he's just training the deck hand uh, agent to maneuver the boat you can see they've installed the new flexi t they've got new cleats on the off there as well they've done all the polishing they've painted the garage door so both boats, AWOL and Lizzie, are going to be looking absolutely spotless this 2019 season. They've also just done a refit. They've done total overhaul of the four main engines. They've installed a brand new generator. And I'm going to show you guys all this shortly once the Dockmaster 
has uh, brought them in and you can see now actually here comes the dock master on his uh, tender on his rib and he's going to instruct uh, Lizzie where to go or Jerome where to go and then we'll be filming the docking as well So basically what you just said, just follow me, I'm going to instruct you to the berth. So we're going to walk uh, along the dock and they're going to be berthed next to this beautiful fed ship called Lady Charlotte, which in fact I do actually know the owner of this boat. Uh, very nice guy, it's a beautiful fed ship. And so they'll be docking next to them and um, yeah, we can watch that, show you guys how they dock a, dock a Lazaro with no bow thrusters with the pod drives and then give you a tour of the interior and the engine room as well. Let's check it out. we're doing take as much time as you need there's no wind uh, you see the crew on the boat next door they're standing by with defenders just in case they need to move them along up or down already you can see the stern lines are ready on the port side as they come in you can see they drop the fenders right down because the dock here is very close to the water Oh wow, that looks awesome, huh? You happy with the result? Yeah. Do you mind? Yeah, so guys, this is absolutely flexi teak. It's an artificial teak, mostly... This is new as well. <laughs> this hatch is brand new. So what the guys are doing now, they're about to attach uh, the ground line to the to the windshield, and that ground line is linked to a big concrete well, to a chain into a concrete block in the middle of the port over there, and that's to pull the boat forward to prevent it from hitting, hitting the dock. So what he's done, he's disengaged the windlass here, so it's on the winch control now. They go around the cleat, do three loops around the winch, and. And you can see he's pushing on the button with his foot. So guys, we're on the interior now. So this is the main salon. You can see the flexi tickets throughout the boat. It's absolutely fantastic. Nice big TV there, and you've got the helm here. My old captain's chair. So I was on board Lizzie from 2008 to, two, to the end of 2016 on, on board this boat. It's a lot of great memories. There's a great sunroof here that comes over, and then just look down the design here to the salon, come around, and that's down into the galley and the dinette, and it's all completely opened. So the real, the great thing about being down here is the windscreens act as a huge skylight. So look, I mean, look at the, look at the headroom. It's just, it's, it's endless. It's absolutely fantastic. The other interesting fact about this boat is when they designed it, it was, it was designed by the Lazara brothers, Dick and Brad Lazara in, uh, in Tampa, Florida. Uh, so for the American viewers, I'm sure you guys are very familiar with uh, Lazara. The angle of the windshield is the same angle that you get on a Lamborghini Diablo. So that's one of the setting points as well. 
let's go show you guys the cabin. So this will be the forward VIP cabin. Make sure that was in there. So you can see it's a bit dark. Let's put the lights on here. Nice, good sized cabin. Bear in mind, this is a 23 meter boat. So it'd be 75 foot ensuite bathroom. Wow, good memories in this boat. Turn the light on for you guys. Toilet, sink, good sized shower. I mean, it's a uh, great, great boat. You can see, look at that. I'll show you through to the guest cabins as well. So basically you see they've got the cushions on the floor here, getting it ready for the event. The two side cabins are identical. So this, can, this bed actually moves over and becomes a double as well. Ensuite bathroom in through there. And then I'll take you through to the master cabin. And then ensuite is then through that door there. Great. I mean, this boat, although it's 10 years old, it's maintained to the same level as AWOL. It's the same owner as AWOL. So he's got the two boats. And I might be biased, but my opinion for a vessel of this category, it's the best charter yacht in, in, in the meds. Why do I say that? Because it's a 23 meter boat. The fuel burn is, it probably has the best fuel economy than any other charter boat of its category here in the med. Um, it sleeps eight people, which is pretty rare for a vessel of this size. It's got a great outdoor area and it also comes with an eight meter chase boat. So the third crew member, Adrian, who you saw practicing earlier um, maneuvering the boat, runs the eight meter chase boat, which also has a wakeboard tower. Um, really, it's a fantastic boat. Also, we've got a day head here. Let me show you the day head. Great, great day head. Uh, the other thing, the other really cool thing, this whole space opens out. So this window here actually slides down on a on a on an electric motor. So this comes a big like far open bar area. Here we have a fridge for cold drinks, and this is a freezer come ice maker. Here you have all the glasses. Really, really fantastic boat. Um, a lot of good memories. Did a lot of charts on this boat. We had uh, we built a very good reputation charging this boat, so we're very. It's good to be back on board. Uh, done a lot of work, and now I want to show you guys the engine room because it's a bit unusual. Because it's got the four engines, and also they've installed a brand new generator as well. Let's go and check it out. Okay, it might be a bit loud in here because they've still got the flows on. So look, here we have the four Volvo IPS 600s. One, two, three, and four. And then just behind are the IPS drive system, Volvo drive system. So you can see, because of the type of drive system, the engine room is, although it's full B, it's actually quite, uh, quite narrow. Uh, an engine room of this size would probably be another meter and a half, two meters. And because of that space saving, it's why we get the extra cabin space for, for the guests. Here they've installed, now this generator is brand new, the whole unit, the old one was completely taken out and we installed a new generator. Because it, it worked out, I mean the cost to rebuild the, uh, the previous one worked out to be the same, it's pretty much buying a brand new one, they've done that. They've installed the new fans, the blows as well. So it's, uh, it feels really good to be back on board. Um, and a lot of good memories on board this boat. Uh, you know, with uh, with the owner, I've been with him now for over 11 years, and we kind of the way I feel is we've kind of grown together. You know, so uh, and it's nice that he's kept it as well. You know, because uh, obviously it means something to him. That's why he's kept it. Uh, and given also this summer, given the amount of charter we've got booked already, he's going to be using Lizzie a lot, uh, which is nice for him to uh, you know enjoy enjoy his other boat. The other benefit, I don't know if you can see, you can see here, that yellow hose, that's actually linked to a dive, uh, a compressor, and that's actually a regulator. So you can pull that hose out, it's an air regulator, you put a regulator on the end of it, and you could, if you've got a problem, you get something pulled around the prop, you can breathe underneath the water. 
uh, and it, it, it doesn't end, it is constantly running. So you can be there for two, three hours if you need to be under the water. The only thing is you can't go straight down. So it's advised to stay about no more than two, you know, no, it's advised not to go down more than two meters. So it's basically designed just to work underneath the boat if you need to do so. So yeah, guys, that's um, that pretty much finished the tour on Lizzie. I thought I'd give you a different side. Uh, it gives you a bit of background on the boat I worked on for, for many, many years. Lots of great memories here. And uh, if you haven't done already, guys, please remember to subscribe. If you like the video, please click that like button. Any questions related to the, the industry, to Lizzie, if you're interested in chartering at all, Lizzie, let me know in the, in the comments box below. But guys, until next time, I hope you enjoyed this vlog. I look forward to seeing you guys next video.